Well, now I understand why James Wan wasn't available for The Conjuring 3. Malignant is James Wan's latest horror thriller in which Madison is at the center of a series of murders beginning with her boyfriend. After the dude gives Madison a dose of how dare you prioritize your pregnancy over my TV time, he's found dead like Triple H got a hold of him. However, Madison learns she has a psychic connection with the killer, someone from her past named Gabriel, who she must unlock the secrets of and discover what he wants before it's too late. She's helped by her sister, who delivers some of her lines like Mark Wahlberg in The Happening, and there's a police officer trying to help figure it all out. This film hits the ground running with a pace only The Flash could keep up with. The film feels half the length it actually is. This is odd of Wan to do, as there are lots of tiny nuggets of information to pay attention to, like Sherlock Holmes with ADHD. Usually, his slower approach lets you soak in information without having to be told everything. Here, the ending of the second act really throws information at you like you're trying to download the internet. There is a lack of CGI, which is mostly true. The vision scenes do this odd dissolve, which could have been avoided for all practical sets and camera tricks. Instead, these vision transitions are completely CGI, and it kind of rips me out of the experience. I think James is at his best under constraint. Just like James Gunn, when they are left to their own devices, often their ego will get in their own way, and what they need is a large dish of humbleness pie with a side of humility after being stepped on by Lady Dimitrescu. Juan hit the ball out of the park and into someone's windshield with the ending of Saw, but ever since he doesn't hold himself back like if George Carlin was a psychiatrist. The Conjuring 2 is a perfect example of this, throwing CGI at the screen like trick-or-treaters throw toilet paper. On top of that, there isn't a proper explanation for why Gabriel is as strong or as agile as he is. A one-off comment in the beginning of the film doesn't explain anything, rather it leads to more confusion, like trying to explain the concept of gravity to an atom. On that note, how does Gabriel know who or where the person he kidnaps even is? Also, I think you went a little ham with the soundtrack, my guy. First off, it sounds like you're using tumble dryers for headphones. Second, and more importantly, the soundtrack is that of an action film while you've written a psychological logical mystery horror. It supports the film to a degree, but doesn't mesh. Juan, you're great at building tension, but you break it when you let yourself get too excited like this. Despite the few positives that do exist, there are many negatives that bring this film down from a middling to just bad rating. This is why I like to stew on my analysis before giving my assessment. Malignant has a cool concept, but little else to bolster it, and I wouldn't be surprised if this film disappeared into obscurity like Juan's dead silence. The ending is clear clumsy to say the least, and Juan doesn't hold my attention well enough to distract me from the issues which pop up like gopher holes on a farm. The screenplay is halfway decent with multiple setups, leading to almost as many payoffs as there are corrupt witnesses. The favor of practical effects is always welcome, but the story plays out like the encampment scene from The Suicide Squad. Lots of build-up to a conclusion that doesn't land right like Elena Makina. Now, thanks for watching. Please like, share, Ring the bell for notifications, and if you want to watch more movie reviews, subscribe and watch me pummel Shang-Chi over there, and I'll see you in the next video.